All right, today it is Monday, June 22nd, the year is 2020. As you all know, last over the weekend, Donald Trump had a rally in, um, rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma for his re-election. And very few people showed up. I mean, he was expecting 20,000 people in the auditorium in an overflow crowd of 40,000. He didn't get nowhere near those numbers. So, with that said, maybe this is a good sign. Maybe it's a good sign. Two things I, I take from this. Maybe it's a good time sign that people really are paying attention to the coronavirus pandemic and staying safe. And that's great. But also, at the same time, I wouldn't look at those crowds of people um, as being in, an indication of his popularity or unpopularity because of the coronavirus pandemic some people might have stayed home who still support him who would have come if this was the pandemic wasn't so bad and there's some other stuff about people um, buying tickets to the event and not going and all this stuff but I would not look reading anything into the tea leaves concerning that small crowd of people who showed up at that event. We must stay focused and keep in mind that this man still has a shot at being reelected because we don't know what might happen between now and November 2nd. So we must stay focused, continue to uh, talk to supporters and people who uh, who support um, Biden, which is the only candidate we have. There's only two people running, it makes sense. Only two people in the election Donald Trump or Biden, so you take your pick. I take Biden any day over Donald Trump. All this discussions about Biden and all this stuff pale in comparison to what we would have to go through with four more years with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is has one of the first presidents to actually place over two hundred judges in positions, nominate and get them approved, and place two hundred judges. He has really aggressively put judges in positions, conservative judges, mind you, who are pushing their agenda, and they do have an agenda. So, we can sit back and ignore Donald Trump all we want to and pretend as if he doesn't have a chance, but I do think he he's still in the running. And God forbid, because it, it, I'm, I, if somebody can help me with this, what, what, what? What would happen if, if between now and November 2nd, Biden suddenly died of a massive heart attack? Who would replace Biden and how fast would they be able to get him qualified to replace? This is just, I'm just asking, maybe somebody who's historic, who's a historian buff, uh, who understand politics. If God forbid Biden died between now and November 2nd, who would replace him and how fast would they be able to get onto the ballots in each state? Hmm. Because if something happened to Biden, I is doomed. Prayfully, nothing will happen to to him. We continue. He will. He will. He will continue to be fine. But um, back to the coronavirus pandemic again. Florida's numbers continue to rise. I, um, they still have a steady flow of people being hospitalized for coronavirus in COVID nineteen in Florida. The question is, will they will those numbers continue to grow over the next few weeks leading into the July 4th weekend and higher? Um, I was planning a vacation to go down towards Florida to one of the beaches. But when I saw Apple close some stores in a couple of states, uh, Apple realized that Apple's a very smart, intelligent company. And I think they do a lot of modern stuff. And when they realized something wasn't right in certain parts of Florida, they closed their stores and I don't know if it's a good time I, look, I could be wrong but I don't know if it's necessarily a good idea to be vacationing in Florida right now with those numbers um, trending upward for hospitalization so a lot of people um, are probably not understanding but those hospitalization numbers mean, and of course, that means more people being hospitalized, that turning up that eventually it's going to, it's, as more and more people get sick in Florida, they need up in the hospital, 
Um, you will see more deaths uh, drastically rising in the state of Florida. Now, Florida isn't the only state having this problem. You have Arizona, parts of Texas, uh, and particularly are having issues with their numbers trending upwards and more people being placed in the hospital. So the coronavirus continues down this path, trudging along uh, down this destructive path. I don't know what the answer is to this. I just think we're going to be in this for a while to come. We're going to be dealing with the coronavirus in its deadly ways for quite some time to come. I'm also, I saw a couple of people made some comments about these protesters marching and protesting in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, common sense should tell you, anyone, if you're in what we're going through, you need to be social with distancing. Now, I don't know why all these people decided to jump up and go marching up and down Peachtree Street, Madison Avenue in New York, and all these other streets and everybody does. Uh, some people threw all caution to the wind and decided to go out there and march and protest. Now, I am a firm believer that protesting really don't do shit. Do you want to do something important? Get your ass into the polling booth and vote. Some of y'all feel like, oh, we got so much accomplished. Through these, uh, we, we ain't got nothing accomplished yet. You got a lot of talking going on. A lot of people saying this, this stuff may happen. There's a lot of discussions going on, but ain't nothing been done. Nothing. And we shall see over the next coming weeks or months and years what all this protest and stuff. But in the mean, what that what all what good is coming as supposed to. But meanwhile, we also have to begin to take a look at the numbers where these states where people were protesting in large numbers with the coronavirus pandemic dancing right there in the streets with them. Will those numbers grow? Most likely, yes, they will grow. I wasn't out there marching and protesting. I've been I have not been near any large group of people since this whole stuff got started. And another thing too, D.L. Hughley was at a, a comedian passed out over the weekend. I believe he was at a comedy club performing, he passed out and come and find out he had coronavirus. But, you know, he the comedy club was open for business and he was on stage performing. And he I guess he did not know he was had symptoms. I don't know. I couldn't figure. I didn't really read to see if he had symptoms of coronavirus or something happened. Or he say he passed out, and then he tested positive for coronavirus, and they got him to the hospital and they checked him. I guess he was there for a couple. Of, I don't know, a day or two. I don't know. So the virus continues to spread, even in comedy clubs. The com the virus will spread in comedy clubs, restaurants. Black Lives Matter protest marches, Donald Trump's rallies, it's going to spread everywhere. So if you decide that you really, if, 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 you're, if the gamble is up to you, if you want to go to these protests and marches and rallies and uh, comedy clubs and restaurants and nightclubs and wherever you want to go, sex party, God knows who what. The risk for you being exposed to COVID-19 is a chance that you're willing to take. If that's the chance you're willing to take, then by all means, go knock yourself out. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. I personally have decided that I'm going to stay away from large crowds of people and continue to do my social distancing, which I've been doing for the past 20 years in a goddamn way, at least the past 10 or 15 years. Um... I like social distancing. It makes my life so less stressful. I don't have to whip nobody ass. So I will continue to do my social distancing. When I go into the gym, if there are crowds of people, I can just go to another gym. Luckily, when I've been going to the gym, there's been nobody in there. In fact, when I was upstairs doing my cardio last Saturday, I was the only person on the second floor doing cardio. There was no one there. Just me. Up there by myself, I did cardio for a whole hour. I went downstairs and did some arms. There was really nobody there. But the gym was empty and it closed at 5 o'clock. I walked out the door at 5 o'clock and the parking lot was empty. No one was there. Everybody was like, when I walked out that gym, there was 100 degree heat and I almost passed out. When I walked out that gym, I said, good Lord, what happened? I almost was like D.L. He was laid on that damn ground. I was like, the coronavirus knocked my ass out? What happened? It was that fucking heat. It was hotter than a motherfucker out there. 
And that's another thing that me and her have been complaining about because she wants to go take a vacation someplace, but it's hot out there. Where are we going to go? Uh, I never forget one year, me and Earl went to Jamaica in July. And I swear to y'all, I said I would never, ever go back to Jamaica in the middle of July. It was hot as hell out there. We couldn't even enjoy the vacation because the heat was so intense that it was just, it was unbearable. Even the room, the, the resort where we stayed at, the room we had, the, the air condition just couldn't crank out enough. It just couldn't get cool enough. It was hot as hell in the damn place. I just stayed in the water the whole time. There was a section of the pool that was covered by the bar, and I would just say, let me get in the water and cool. I like lay down in that water and that chair for hours, and I was like a prune when I got the water. But that water was, um, the heat in Jamaica, It was it's extremely hot. And I can imagine traveling in July, I know it's summertime. Yeah, I ain't really feeling all this heat. So I want to go someplace and do something, but I don't want to die on the beach. But yeah, but it's going to be hot. If you go down anywhere, you're going to be hot right about now unless you go someplace in the mountains or something. I'm trying to find something that's not so hot away from everything. So, um, anyway. That was all I want to discuss for the day. And I'm sitting here half days because I need to eat something. And it's going on 12 noon and I ain't ate shit yet. And I sure need to eat something. I might eat something now though. Um, today it is, let me conclude I'll come back and talk to y'all and I gotta eat something. My stomach growling over here. I should have been ate something. Today is Monday. It is the 22nd of June. The year 2020, Monday, June 22nd, 2020. And this concludes my video today. And I'll try to come back and talk a little bit later. Right now, I gotta eat something. I'm out. Out. Bye.